I'm just kidding. It's not going to be one of those videos. So I bet you've been trying to find this video for hours, right? You've been trying to get a custom chatbot name for your Stream Elements chatbot, but you can't find the setting anywhere. You want to know why you can't find it? Because Stream Elements expects you to go on an Easter egg hunt to go find the setting. I'm not trying to solve the Da Vinci code. I just want to get a custom chatbot name. If you want to know the answer, just go to this timestamp right here. I'm not going to waste your time because I know how it feels. I know when YouTubers waste your time, when you just want to know the answer, just here it is. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Stream Elements is just another alert platform service, kind of like Streamlabs or Muxy. And one of the features of these alert pla- I keep hitting the mic. Why do I keep doing that? One of the features of these alert platform services is a chatbot for handling things like commands and announcements. The problem with Stream Elements is you're stuck with this default Stream Elements chatbot name and no one wants to see that. So today I'm going to show you every single step you need to know to get your own custom Twitch chatbot name. But for those of you who are new here, my name's Nutty. That's not my actual name. There's no one on the planet Earth named Nutty. It's just what people on the internet call me. Anyway, if you're new here, we do videos all about setting up your stream and getting the most out of your Twitch stream. So if that sounds interesting to you, subscribe because we do videos every single week or two weeks or month, whenever I feel like uploading a video. So let's talk about what you're going to need first. First thing you're going to want to do is download the ground control desktop client. You're going to need to have this running for your custom chatbot name to show up. So go ahead and install that. It's basically the same thing as stream labels if you've used Streamlabs before. And it's just a desktop client that lets you see all of your alerts and your subscribers and donations and whatever. Now, once you've done that, open up ground control, scroll over to your settings and scroll right down to the bottom. And at the bottom, you should see custom chatbot name. Just kidding. You're not going to see it there because for some reason stream elements thought it was a good idea to hide this feature and i have no idea why they've done this but it's it, you're not going to see it right away and the reason you're not going to see it is because stream elements expects you to do like a million different things to get this chatbot to show up that they never tell you about so what are those things let's open up your stream elements dashboard when you open up your dashboard here's what you want to do First thing is you're going to activate your chatbot. Now you probably already have this set up. If you haven't set up, you'll have a green check mark next to that first box. But if you haven't got it set up, just click on that activate button and that will get the stream elements bot to enter your Twitch channel. You also want to make sure that the stream elements bot has mod status in your channel. So just go to where your Twitch channel is, go into your chat and type in slash mod stream elements. You'll get a message saying that something happened. What does it say? You have added stream elements as a moderator in the channel. Yeah. That's the message you should see. The next thing you're going to want to make sure is that you've set up a payment method in your stream elements account. Now, what does this have to do with your chatbot? Well, nothing. So I don't know why they want you to do it, but they want you to do it. So just do it. Seriously, stream elements. Just why is this a thing? Just click on the get paid button, go through it, put in your PayPal account or however you want to get paid and you should be good to go. Don't worry. They're not going to charge you for anything. This is just so that you can get paid not so you can get charged for anything. After you've set up your payment method, you wanna make sure you've set up a panel on your Twitch page that links to your Stream Elements tipping page. Again, what does this have to do with a custom Twitch bot chat name? I have absolutely no idea, but you need to do this. Come on, Stream Elements. I love your service, but why is none of this told anywhere? Finally, you have to make sure you've added at least one overlay to your account. You don't actually have to use it, you just have to make sure that it's there. Now if you're new to Stream Elements, an overlay is basically the way that they handle all of their alerts. Now after you've done all of that, close Grand Control, relaunch it again, go to your settings and scroll to the bottom and what do you know, there's your custom Twitch chatbot option. Now you might have to wait a couple minutes so if it doesn't show up right away just close it again, relaunch it, keep trying that until it shows up again. So now that the option's there all you got to do is make a fake Twitch account that you're going to use as your chatbot. In my case I made an account called Nutbody and I just put the username in the username field and then you just have to put in your OAuth token. You can just click the link there it'll show you exactly where you can get yours. If you've done everything right you can just click on that test button and look at your Twitch chat and you should see your custom Twitch chatbot name show up with the test message. So yeah, there you go. There's all the steps that you need to get your custom Twitch chatbot name and stream elements. Just make sure you have the ground control client open. Otherwise your chatbot name will default back to the stream elements name. 
It sucks, I wish there was a way that the chatbot name could work even without this client open. Or maybe there is a way and I just don't know and this video sucks. So if you know a way, let me know. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you found that video helpful, make sure to launch a nuclear missile on that like button. You can also join the Discord. We have cool conversations about streaming all the time and you can post pretty pictures of your stream setups or pretty pictures of your stream layouts. I also stream four nights a week on twitch.tv slash Nutella forever. So if you wanna ask me any questions live, feel free to ask me questions there. And make sure to catch next week's video. I promise you it's going to be a really cool video. I'm really excited for it. I'll catch you guys next week.